tubing accident in Fairfield that badly hurt two young teens. Those two teens were slammed into the side of a yacht. This happened off Jennings Beach in Fairfield. Those who saw the accident say the girls are lucky they were not killed, and police tell us you can usually avoid accidents like this with some planning. Let's go live now to Renee Schmiel, live in Fairfield with the latest information and safety tips. Renee? Darren and Aaron, police tell me there needs to be at least two people in the boat, one person to drive, and then a spotter to keep an eye on the riders, and both of them need to be at least 12 years old. We also spoke with police about the girls, and they tell me they're doing better, and they're expected to be home from the hospital in the next few days. A fun day out on the water suddenly turned frightening in Fairfield. Though the two 13-year-old girls hurt in the tubing accident were wearing life jackets and there were adults on the boat that was pulling them. Officer Keith Purham responded to the accident minutes after it happened. The tube just slid across the water and the people on the tube have no recourse to control it. So the person operating the vessel is ultimately responsible for the people he's towing. Police say the person driving the boat had experience and that the boat may have been going too fast when it turned. The girls were thrown into the water and hit another boat. Police say it's important to slow down when driving the boat, especially when there are children on the tubes and when going around a turn. They're doing the boat speed minimum behind them, but there's called a whipping effect when they make turns. Generally, the tubes can take up to double the speed of the boat. Drivers should be especially careful when pulling more than one tube, since tubes can collide with other objects and each other. The width or the length of the rope and how far out the tube can go is sometimes deceiving. The Department of Energy and Environmental Protection has eight safety tips to keep in mind next time you head out on the water. Know the area you'll be tubing in ahead of time. Make sure the tow line is less than 100 feet long. Make sure the spotter and the riders can communicate through hand signals. The driver, spotter, and riders must be sober and alert. Follow all the recommendations regarding capacity and age of riders on the tube. The tow line must be designed for tubing. Turn off the boat's engine and count to 10 before anyone gets in the water near the boat. And never back the boat up when pulling tubes. Police also recommend keeping one of these on the boat just in case someone does end up in the water. Live in Fairfield, Renee Schmiel, News 8.